1917 makes 2019 a year to remember. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things critics are saying about 1917. For this list, we're taking a look at why critics are praising Sam Mendes' World War I epic 1917 as perhaps one of the greatest war movies of all time. I hoped today might be a good day. Hope is a dangerous thing. Number 10. It's a war epic with heart. While suffused in tragedy and sheer horror, it's the film's quieter scenes that really bring out its humanity. Jason Osiason of Fanatic Film Fans praises the movie as, quote, bursting with a depth of heart and emotion unprecedented in the genre. Randy Jones is especially taken with leads Dean Charles Chapman and George Mackay, saying that their bond, quote, is fleshed out enough that when heartbreaking moments occur, you become choked up. They are so enjoyable to watch that you become emotionally invested. The New York Post's Johnny Oleksinski is quite moved by the film as well, highlighting the use of the song Wayfaring Stranger and an intimate scene between Schofield and a caretaker in his review. I'm going to see my father. We need to keep moving! Number 9. The narrative is gripping. The film's setup is an engrossing nail-biter, as Lance Corporals Blake and Schofield race against the clock to deliver a crucial message that could save 1,600 British soldiers' lives. If you fail, it will be a massacre. The film is loosely inspired by the World War I stories passed down by Sam Mendes' grandfather Alfred. Mendes didn't craft the screenplay alone, though. As Tomer Slafly of Time Out New York notes, quote, Sam Mendez's 1917 is co-written by a woman. Her name is Christy Wilson Cairns. This is her feature debut as a writer, one in which she conceived a one-shot war film. Although our two heroes fuel this story, Variety's Peter de Bruges opines that, quote, the script feels most exciting when other characters are involved, especially after a shocking off-camera setback threatens the mission. Number 8. It's Beyond Intense The best war epics plunge the audience into utter chaos, making viewers feel as if they're absorbed into combat. 1917 does exactly that, but in seemingly unparalleled ways, immersing audiences into the action with Blake and Schofield. Their dread is our dread, making for one of the most intense war pictures ever brought to screen. As Scott Menzel of We Live Entertainment puts it, quote, 1917 is not for the faint of heart, an unforgettable, anxiety-inducing cinematic roller coaster ride. Alonzo Duraldi of The Rap is also amazed, writing that since, quote, most of the mission is being presented in what appears to be actual time, 1917 offers few opportunities for the audience to exhale. Number 7. George Mackay's performance is masterful. Blake, pick a man, bring your kit. Although Dean Charles Chapman is receiving acclaim for his performance as Blake, many critics have singled out George Mackay as the film's guiding light for his portrayal of Schofield. Quote, Actor George Mackay carries Sam Mendes' audacious real-time World War I adventure, writes Variety's Peter de Bruges. Entertainment Weekly's Leah Greenblatt also declared that, quote, The film belongs to Chapman, and more than anyone, Mackay. Adding, quote, His Lance Corporal Schofield isn't just a surrogate everyman, he's hope and fear personified, and you couldn't look away if you wanted to. Mackay is being widely credited with getting much of Schofield's character development across through his facial expressions alone. If you don't get there in time, we will lose 1,600 men. Number 6. Thomas Newman's musical score is award-worthy. Composer Thomas Newman has been nominated for 14 Academy Awards, although shockingly, he's never taken home Hollywood's top honor. As far as Scott Feinberg of The Hollywood Reporter is concerned, it's, quote, almost unfathomable that Newman won't win his first Oscar for 1917. Consequence of Sound's Dan Flieger notes that, quote, Composer Thomas Newman creeps in to remind everyone of the dangers that linger outside the crumbling walls. Elements of Madness's Douglas Davidson go so far as to say that Newman's score, quote, often feels like another character in the film acting and reacting, not just in a manner which envelopes the action with sound, but one which feels undeniably alive, almost as though it is seeking to convey the words that Blake and Schofield cannot. Number 5. Sam Mendes Knocks It Out of the Park it's been almost 20 years since Sam Mendes won his first Academy Award for his debut feature, American Beauty. 
for 1917, Joyce Ang of Gold Derby believes that Mendez is, quote, a massive contender to take home a bookend Best Director statuette, which would give him the longest gap between two wins. For Next Best Picture's Matt Neglia's money, 1917 is the technical achievement of 2019. We're with these men through every footstep, and it's unlike any war film you've ever seen before. The dance of the camera and the mechanics all have to be in sync with what the actor's doing. When you achieve that, it's really beautiful. The Guardian's Peter Bradshaw writes, quote, 1917 is Mendez's most purely ambitious and passionate picture since his misunderstood and underappreciated Jarhead in 2005. It's only made more impressive when you consider that, as IndieWire's Zach Scharf points out, he started shooting only in April 2019. It's like a piece of theater every take. Once it starts, it can't stop. If something goes wrong, you just have to keep going. Number four, you should see it on the big screen. In an era of streaming, people have grown accustomed to watching major motion pictures on smaller screens. However, Collider Steven Weintraub asserts, quote, see this on the biggest screen you can. Jason Garacio of Business Insider writes, there is so much going on in the frame all the time that you want to feel fully immersed in it. 1917 is being hailed as the kind of event picture that defines why the Cineplex is still integral to the movie-going experience, not only due to its larger-than-life visuals, but also the hair-raising sound design. Number 3. Roger Deakins' Cinematography is Stunning Roger Deakins was already considered by many to be the industry's best living cinematographer. He outdoes himself in 1917, which is a frontrunner for the Best Cinematography Oscar according to the LA Times' Glenn Whip. For a start, you can't really light it. Action! Because, you know, if you were running down a trench and turning around 360 degrees, there's nowhere to put a light anywhere. After all, 1917 is shot to look like a single take playing out in real time. But while the entire film was not actually executed in one shot, the editing is so meticulous it's hard for viewers to figure out where exactly Mendez yelled cut. Philip Dissemlian of Time Out London compares the use of editing to the likes of Birdman and Gravity, writing, quote, invisible cuts, and bar one fade to black, they're damn hard to spot, stitch together two hours of screen time into a seamless whole. Number two, it's a major best picture contender. Since the name Oscar has come up several times, it should come as no surprise that 1917 is being declared a potential Best Picture favorite. Turner Classic Movies' Dave Carger says we can expect, quote, definite nominations for picture, director, cinematography, and design. Possibly score and sound editing, too. Julian Roman of MovieWeb shares the same sentiment, writing in his review, quote, It is the clear Oscars frontrunner for Best Film of the Year. Granted, 1917 could face stiff competition with The Irishman and Marriage Story. But if history has taught us anything, it's that the Academy loves war epics, from The Hurt Locker to Platoon to Wings. Of course, there are war movies that infamously didn't win Best Picture. Speaking of which, before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. It may be the best war movie since Saving Private Ryan Steven Spielberg set the new gold standard for war movies in 1998. And for Clayton Davis of Award Circuit, quote, 1917 is the best war film since Saving Private Ryan. Ryan! Anybody know Ryan? 101st Airborne? Ryan? You know a guy named Ryan? Such a statement is not to be taken lightly, as we've gotten several phenomenal war epics over the past couple of decades. Yet Time Out London's Phil Dissemlian feels the film is an even greater achievement than Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk, saying, quote, 1917 is a wildly audacious reinvention of the genre from Mendez. And it makes sense that 1917 is being hailed as coming the closest to capturing the same levels of grit, drama, and ambition in Private Ryan. Both films share many parallels, a rescue mission at the story's core, an overarching theme of brotherhood, and utterly immersive action throughout. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.